Hey everybody, my name is Stefan Kraus from By the Bytes, uh, one of the developers of World Creator. And uh, because of the new beta version of World Creator, which is uh, not yet fully finished, but uh, many people are asking for it as they want to um, export Unreal assets out of Unreal and um, yeah, re-import them into World Creator. So I'm going to show you how to do this um, with Unreal Engine. So you can see here I have um, imported a uh, European horn bean asset package uh, downloaded from uh, from fab and yeah well, let's let's take a look at how, how that would work so i'm going to drop my asset here so i can view it a little bit okay i like it then do a right click here so you that the context menu is opening up don't worry because it's german um i'm going to translate it for you so you what you need is the option asset actions then choose export click here Select a name for it. Let's call this a Unreal Unreal Asset 01. Make sure to select um, GLB. You can also choose GLTF, but I'm going to show you how to use GLB because it's a way more easier to use um, asset for Word Creator. Um, also, we are 100% supporting GLB files in Word Creator. FBX is coming um, until the uh, uh, official release. So click here on Save. Now, this will be all the settings that you see here. Actually, you don't need a lot of them. Just um, uncheck um, export preview mesh, skip Neo defaults, remove all these checks because we don't need them. Make sure to use a user mesh data and choose a high resolution texture so you get the best resolution for the bark uh, textures and for the, uh, for the leaves. Um, you can leave tree linear, uh, leave wrap. Um, we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need the sequences here because we don't have any any animations uh, supported yet. Um, make sure that you have the texture transforms um, included um, as well as the yeah, adjust normals, just uh, just in case. No, we don't have external lights. No external camera. And here we use use mesh data. Then click here on export. Now that may uh, take a while. Depends on how um, complex your model indeed is in, in Unreal. And once it has exported, um, actually you can directly load it into World Creator. So however, the beta version, there's one feature that we don't yet support. So I'm going to show you how to quickly use that in World Creator. The first thing, just drag and drop that asset, put them in either here into the scene or into the biomes, it doesn't really matter go into the scene here, put it down, click on it and um, place it. Now let's scale this up a little bit. You see something like this. And you might already see there's some sort of heavy reflections, heavy, I, you know, it, it looks very wet as if like the metalness or the roughness maps are not being ported directly into World Creator, which is indeed the cause currently. So um, to get rid of this for now as please remember this is a beta version of world creator so we're going to support this um you would not have to do the steps i'm going to do right now to get rid of this just go into blender get blender on steam that's the best choose you can do and import that exported um unreal asset as a glb file into blender and what you need to do is go in here you have three materials and select the ones where it says metallic roughness just remove these and remove the specularity as well do this for all um for all three materials just like that then go to file go to export gltf glb gltf click it make sure to remember the export files unclick animations if it's already been set go to include make sure that you have selected objects only so that object is going to be exported only and you can see that unreal tree we call this now unreal now we can just override it that's a big big good and export it as gltf so now it's been exported go back to word creator hit the reload button and everything should be fine as you can see those things have been totally fixed in the material and World Creator has just probably loaded that Unreal Asset material, uh, Unreal Asset into its own system. Now you can use that to populate your terrain with trees 
and create a nice scene inside World Creator. Okay, hope that helped. Um, please remember this is still beta version, so it's not finished. So that workaround with Blender is currently necessary, but it probably won't be necessary with next beta update. Yeah, stay tuned, have a great day and stay safe.